The Aeneid has often been charged with being political propaganda. And because in the Aeneid, the, the poet Virgil uh, praises not only Rome, the, the empire and the greatness of the empire, but Caesar Augustus, who is his patron and, uh, and the great emperor living at the time. Uh, and so <clears throat> people have charged the Aeneid with being uh, political propaganda, with furthering and advocating the causes of Caesar Augustus and his, uh, and his projects of moral reform and, and other things he was trying to do. Uh, and they usually pitch this as a bad thing. Uh, as though uh, Aeneas, uh, or excuse me, as though Virgil has given up his own uh, perspective uh, and, um, uh, and a kowtow to the emperor somehow. Uh, but I think that uh, Virgil himself, <clears throat> uh, as a number of uh, more perceptive commentators have, have pointed out, would answer that charge um, uh, differently than we might expect. He wouldn't say, no, it's not political propaganda. He would have been puzzled and said, yes, of course, it's propaganda. The word propaganda is a Latin word, and for those of you who've studied some Latin might recognize it as a perfect passive participle that simply means things that ought to be propagated. And we all know, we all believe that there are things that ought to be spread, that there are things people should know. And Virgil did believe uh, that uh, the Roman Empire was great and it had fundamental principles about it and a greatness about it that people ought to believe in. And so, of course, it's political propaganda. It contains uh, things that he thinks ought to be known, that ought to be believed, that ought to be propagated. Um, he uh, would, I think, re, uh, uh, repudiate the charge that he's simply a, a, a yes man to Caesar Augustus. That's quite clear. There's always been a lot of critical controversy over whether he was trying to subvert Augustus somehow or agree with August Augustus somehow. But there were many things that Augustus stood for, and more importantly, that the Roman Empire as an idea stood for, that Virgil thought uh, ought to be spread and ought to be propagated by his poem. So he would have said, yes, of course it's political propaganda. What's the problem?